for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, it was kind of a nice change this morning to wake up to some rain and clouds. It was very much needed, too. It was nice, you know. Uh, uh, it was kind of morning where it almost makes you think, well, fall's not too far away. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> maybe That's a dangerous say, thought there. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, it, it was indeed very nice, and, and very nice in the fact that we had the rain. We've had multiple waves of rain over the last week, and that has impacted the drought. Now, this is our drought monitor. We're looking week over week. Let me get out of the way so you can see this. Um, maybe a little hard to tell, but generally east of Highway 65, we have seen some minor improvement in the drought. You can certainly see that over towards, say, Webster, Wright counties into Texas County and South Cross Douglas County. Uh, but even further north, we've seen some improvement in the drought up toward Lake of the Ozarks. We've got another shot at some wet weather overnight tonight and into uh, set, uh, Friday morning. This is really going to be late, late tonight into Friday morning, but that's going to tend to focus more across southern Missouri and especially northern Arkansas and points south. But we saw a wave of heavy rain today here across areas closer to central Missouri. Camdenton reporting an inch and a half of rainfall. Lake Ozark reporting an inch and a half of rainfall. But you can see these colors in here are yellows to oranges. That's upwards of two to three inches, and we have weather reports in that area indicating three inch plus rains that led to some flash flooding concerns. But again, the rain was very nice to see. I also had a weather watcher in Lebanon, uh, Anthony, reporting another inch of rainfall at his house, bringing his total for the week since Monday over three inches. So, I mean, we've had some healthy rains over the last week, and not everybody has gotten it all at once, but Everybody has at least seen some rainfall. Right now, we're not finding anything out there, at least in most of the area. A few showers are trying to pop up here uh, in parts of uh, north central Arkansas. And that's going to be a zone, I think, that will have a shot at some spotty showers and thunderstorms this evening. Otherwise, I think it's going to stay quiet. We wait for this next feature to move in. And you can see the widespread shower and thunderstorm activity associated with that. That's a upper level storm. I like to call them rain triggers. That's going to be moving across the area. Um, on Friday. At the same time, we've got this uh, frontal boundary, a cold front pushing south, and it is having an impact on conditions. As we look north up toward I-70, hey, here's our muggy meter. We've got pleasant air moving into northern Missouri, and it's going to head south. It's going to build into the area uh, later tonight. So we are going to find drier air at the surface moving in by morning, and that's going to have an impact on where the heavier rain is going to want to set up with this next wave that comes through. Also, where the better chances for thunderstorms are going to be with this next wave that moves through. I think the severe weather risk tomorrow during the day on Friday is going to tend to be near and south of the state line, and I don't expect that risk to be overly large, uh, but maybe some wind or possibly even some hail. Looking at our forecast tonight, again, spotty storms possible to the south, otherwise quiet. We make it to 7 o'clock in the morning. We've got rain and thunderstorms spreading across southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma. That will spread across the area from west to east. Notice how the thunderstorm activity really focused to the south. This is going to be more of a general rain or showers north of the state line, and then that pushes east through early afternoon on Friday and then out of the area by mid to late afternoon with some sunshine trying to develop as we wrap up the day. What about temperatures? I, I, you know, I was telling you a mild day on the way. It looks like a high of around 79 on Friday, mid 80s on Saturday. That comes with mostly sunny skies and low humidity and a morning low of 60. Great weather there. On Sunday, not bad, 65 for the morning low. There will be a chance for showers and thunderstorms with highs in the upper 80s. Bailey? All right, thanks, Jamie. Democratic President